Hi, my name is Ellen Brown, and I'm a recruitment officer at the Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry here at Western University. Schulich Medicine and Dentistry offers both a Doctor of Medicine and a Doctor of Dental Surgery program. Today, I'd like to tell you about the admission requirements and application pathways for our dentistry program. The Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry is located in London, Ontario, on the campus of Western University. That's about halfway between Toronto and Windsor, along the 401. London is a mid-sized mid city with a lively downtown that plays host to great restaurants, shopping, festivals, as well as competitive OHL hockey and big name concerts and plays, meaning you will be studying and living in a well-established and vibrant community. London is also served by an airport with daily flights to and from Toronto, a via rail station, and we're located at the intersection of highways 401 and 402. So, let's meet our dentistry students. This is Amer El Sabah. Amer graduated with a Doctor of Dental Surgery just this past May. Born and raised in Saudi Arabia, Amer moved to Canada with his family at the beginning of high school. His parents wanted the best educational opportunity for him, putting their successful careers as oral surgeons on hold to ensure that this would happen. As a child, Amer spent his hours in the dental clinics and oral surgery clinics watching his parents work and interact with staff and patients. His enthusiasm for the profession grew as he completed high school and then attended the Bachelor of Medical Sciences program here at Schulich Medicine and Dentistry. From the outset of his dental education, Amer was involved in student leadership activities. He served as Secretary and Vice President Administration for the University of Western Ontario Dental Student Society. He also worked with the Federation of Canadian Dentistry Student Associations, helping to plan and organize the inaugural Canadian Dental Student Conference in 2018 as the Schulich Dentistry's student rep. During the summers after his first and second years, Amer also participated in research projects, looking at biomarkers associated with carcinomas of the tongue and surrogate markers for the human papilloma, papilloma or HPV virus. His work with Dr. Christina McCord on diagnosing HPV-associated oral epithelial dysplasia was recently published in the Oral Surgery, Oral Medicine, Oral Pathology, and Oral Radiology. After graduating this spring with a Doctor of Dental Surgery, Amer moved to Halifax where he will be continuing his studies and internship in oral and maxillofacial surgery. So, why might you choose Schulich Dentistry? Well, we offer a four-year four program leading to a Doctor of Dental Surgery degree that will prepare you for independent general practice. At Schulich Dentistry, you will begin clinical patient contact in year one with the amount of time, complexity, and responsibility increasing throughout the four years of the program. In our simulation lab, you will learn and practice dental techniques and procedures in an environment that really closely simulates clinical practice. Your training will include prosthodontic, endodontic, and oral surgical techniques. As a dentistry student, you will also participate in dental clinics for adults, children, emergency dental care, and oral surgery. Each year, Schulich Dentistry students attend more than 24,000 patient visits. And you will also participate in outreach programs, such as the Dental Outreach Community Services, or DOCS program. DOCS provides free oral health care to low-income families in London area who don't have the means or the coverage to access dental care otherwise. If you would like to pursue graduate studies, we also offer a dental clinician scientist program to prepare you for an academic career in oral health research, and we have an oral maxillofacial surgery program, or the OMFS, which will lead to a specialty practice in oral and maxillofacial surgery. So, what does dental school look like? The Schulich Dentistry curriculum is based on a central core of comprehensive patient care. In years one and two, you will learn both basic and clinical sciences through participation in lectures, labs, case studies, small group discussions, independent work, simulations, and supervised clinical experiences. 
in three, years three and four, you will take on a more active role with patients, including practice administration, such as booking appointments and billing for your services, as well as clinical responsibilities, such as diagnosing, treatment planning, and treatment. The Schulich School of Medicine and Dentistry is committed to providing you with a welcoming and accommodating environment. We recognize that diversity is a source of strength that promotes a culture of excellence and innovation that thrives from the contributions of all our members. We accept, value, nurture, and celebrate diversity. Diversity in our learning environment allows for a rich educational experience and propels innovation in clinical care and research by developing culturally competent future dentists. Given Canada's social fabric, diversity in our classrooms ensures ongoing health and dental care excellence at a national level. Our school is also proud of the prominent role that students play in collaborating with educators and facilitators, in engaging in course evaluations, and supporting the continuous quality improvement of the learning environment. Schulich Dentistry takes a holistic approach to applications to our Doctor of Dental Surgery program, with emphasis not only on academics, but also on non-academic traits and life experiences, thus ensuring our commitment to diversity, equity, and inclusion. We seek to enroll self-directed, motivated, and resilient students who reflect the diversity of the patients that they will serve and who demonstrate compassion and advocacy for others. So, let's take a look at our admission requirements. To be eligible for consideration, you will need to complete a four-year undergraduate degree. The degree can be in any discipline and from any recognized university. Within the degree, you will need to have completed two years that meet our minimum academic average, during which you also are carrying a full course load and took courses at the proper grade level. You will also need to complete prerequisites in organic chemistry, biochemistry, and physiology. The prerequisite courses, however, do not need to be part of your undergraduate degree. You will also need to write the Dental Aptitude Test, or the DAT, and meet the minimum scores in each section that we require for assessment. For non-academic assessment, we invite you to complete an autobiographical sketch and personal statement. Within the autobiographical sketch, you will have opportunity to outline both scholastic and non-scholastic achievements that might, might not be evident in your application or transcripts. While the personal statement will allow you to highlight goals and accomplishments or describe how you overcame a significant disadvantage or a barrier. While all applicants must meet the same requirements, we do offer application pathways. If you self-identify as First Nations, Métis, or Inuit, you may apply through the Indigenous pathway. Two seats in each class are reserved each year to help increase dentists in uh, Indigenous dentists in Canada. If you are an international applicant, you may apply for one of four seats uh, reserved for international applicants. You must meet the same admission requirements as national applicants, and if you have not already completed post-secondary education in English, you may also be required to demonstrate English profi language proficiency. For more information about each of these pathways, please visit our website. So, how much does dental school cost? Well, for a domestic applicant, the tuition is approximately $185,000 over four years. This does include the dental kit and ancillary student fees. For an international applicant, tuition is approximately $400,000. This also includes the cost of the dental kit and ancillary student fees. In addition, living expenses in London, Ontario are estimated to be approximately $20,000 per year. However, there are resources to help you pay for dental school. Some of these include scholarships or merit-based awards, meaning they are awarded based on assessment of your grades, your talents, achievements, interests, community involvements, or extracurricular activities. Western University offers many scholarships for students who demonstrate merit. Each year, 
four students are selected to receive a Schulich Dentistry Scholarship that is valued at over $44,000 over a four-year period. Bursaries are need-based awards. 25% of Schulich students access bursaries based on their financial needs. Western University offers many bursaries to students based on need. You might also consider applying for a government loan, such as the Ontario Student Assistance Program, or OSAP. Or you may apply to a bank for a line of credit. Many banks will loan money to students entering professional schools at preferred interest rates and repayment schedules. Also, another option, you may reach out to family. Finally, if you're considering applying to Schulich Dentistry, you might be interested in our admission statistics. Each year, we receive between 450 and 500 applications. After a holistic review of both academic and non-academic admission requirements, approximately 150 applicants are invited to attend an interview, after which 56 students are accepted into the Doctor of Dental Surgery program. Thank you for joining me today to hear a little bit about our admission requirements and admission pathways. For more information, please visit our website. We're located at www.schulich.uwo.ca slash med underscore dent underscore admissions. Or you're always welcome to call us at 519-661-3744 or email admissions.dentistry at schulich.uwo.ca. Thank you.